You're watching Team Kids News, and here's what's coming up. My Story Knitting will have you in stitches. It's a hobby popular with celebs like Dakota Fanning, Cameron Diaz, Julia Roberts, and even Russell Crowe. And as Emily reports, it's catching on with teens as well. I'm here at Lion Brand Yarn Studio, where I'll try my hand at a craft that dates back to ancient Egypt. Let's go inside. It's an explosion of color and an endless supply of inspiration. Knitting is where the nimble put their needles and their creativity to the test. What are you working on today? Today I'm working on a sweater. Right now I'm working on leg warmers, a headband. Knitting's not just for grandma anymore. And what I love about you teen knitter so much is, is your imagination. I'm, I'm blown away by some of the projects I see you guys do. And the color combinations are sometimes things that I wouldn't think of, but they're fantastic. So you have your yarn, you have your needles, and you want to make a slip knot, which you do that by wrapping the yarn around your fingers. And that's pretty much the most, one of the simplest parts of passing on. Karina's helping me create my first sweater. This is simple, right? How many different types of stitches are there? That is a great question, because you'll be surprised to know the answer is two, the knit stitch and the purl stitch. Everything in knitting, all those beautiful complex stitches, lace and cables, they're all from two stitches, the knit and the purl. While I knit and purl, here are a few cool knitting facts. Knitting comes from the word knot, which may have started with the Dutch. The earliest example is a pair of socks found in ancient Egypt. In olden times, knitting was just as popular among men as women. We have 120 classes a month. People come and buy their yarn and hang out and meet with friends. It's a great social place to be. To sit and knit, you only need two things, yarn and needles, but both come in various types. There are straight needles, double pointed needles, and even needles that are circular. Those are handy in making a hat. A woman in England holds the Guinness World Record for using the largest knitting needles. They are more than 10 feet long. These look much more manageable. Here's another technique that I'll try much later. Knitting with four needles at one time. And therefore doing something in the round but that's a little smaller. To help figure out what to knit, you can choose from hundreds of free patterns at online sites like lionbrandyarn.com. There are a lot of types of yarns, but if you're just starting, what types of yarn should you look for? You want to look for a smooth fiber, also a light color, because you want to be able to see your stitches. And sometimes with, with black or really deep purple, even though you might love that color, it can be really hard to see. Another thing you want to look for is a solid color. And the last thing to consider is what's called the weight of the yarn, which is the thickness. So a nice medium weight yarn, um, which uses needle sizes from 9 to 11, is a perfect start. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> Knitting takes patience and concentration, but these girls say it helps them handle the everyday stress we all have. It's kind of a therapy almost because you're basically concentrating on one thing and it's really a lot of fun to do. It's fun to make things for your friends. Once you first start, sometimes it can be a little tricky and difficult, but once you really learn, you know, get the feel for it, it's really easy and yeah, anyone can knit, anyone can knit. That's what they keep telling me. If teens want to learn how to knit, how should they start? Your local yarn store, like the Lion Brand Yarn Studio, or a store in your neighborhood is a great place to start. Find out if they do duet lessons. That's something we do, which is a lesson for a parent and a child, or any grown-up that wants to be involved in making sure that you stay on track. Because sometimes you go home and there's a mistake, and you think, ah, oh, I dropped a stitch, what do I do? And if there's someone around that can help you, it's a really great thing. OK. So I'm a long way off from being able to knit a sweater, but with practice, I'm sure I'll get there one day. For Teen Kids News, I'm Emily.